I'm so glad you decided to be here and I'm so glad you decided that this would be a useful tool for you. I'm gonna share as much as I can and if at any time during the videos you need to, please pause, practice what's there, rewind, play it again, send me an email, nick at nickfinzermusic.com. Please feel free to do so and we can uh, further elaborate on some of the things that we're talking about today. Welcome to chapter one of Get Ahead, the e-course. Chapter one is dealing with developing a practice routine. So if you don't already have a practice routine, uh, I have always found that if I stick to a routine, a practice routine, I definitely get way more done. Uh, it's way more organized, it's way more efficient, it's way more effective, all of those things, uh, just from having a little bit of planning and a little bit of direction when I am practicing, when I'm thinking about practicing, and it just really helps to shape shape the session, shape the day, and have things go really well. So let me tell you a little bit about how I came up with my ideal practice schedule. I never had a practice schedule until I got to college. And when I was in college, as most music students can attest, there's so much to do, so many classes, uh, theory class and composition and rehearsals, ensembles, lessons that I, in or, that I needed to figure out a way to get to all the things and get everything done. My initial method was to just block out extremely long periods of time where I would just sit in the practice room and force myself to work on stuff all day. Um, I remember many Saturdays, literally waking up, going to teach lessons, maybe from 8 or 9 o'clock till 10, 10 or 11, maybe 12, and then sitting, just forcing myself to sit in the practice room till 7 p.m. till I had to go to a gig, just practicing or screwing around or just sitting there working on music. And I think that that was really important for me to develop some kind of sense of what worked and what didn't work. It took a long time to figure out that that didn't really work for me. Um, I wished that it did. You know, I just thought it was a sheer amount of like just hours. Just I'm going to every day I'm going to I need to practice six hours. I need to practice eight hours. And I would bust my chops. I would be killing myself trying to like just get in the hours. Like I just was under this kind of assumption that like hours, the number of hours was the most important thing to worry about and that the number of hours was going to really make a difference in the long run. You know, you talk about 10,000 hours. Uh, everybody likes to quote that figure now. Um, you know, I just thought I got to get to 10,000 hours. I got to put in the time. But really what I was doing was just sitting around and wasting a lot of time. Um, I was on my phone. I was sometimes practicing piano, sometimes just like looking through my folders or like looking at music or thinking about things and there's always there's so many things to practice I was at Eastman I had to practice you know classical stuff and jazz stuff and stuff for combo and stuff for ensembles and all you know everybody you all know all the different things you have to do so for me it really helped and this is the start of my development of a any sort of practice routine I started breaking that large chunk of time into smaller chunks of time. Instead of sitting all day on Saturday, uh, I would try to get multiple sessions in in a day. Number one, because I was getting super tired, and number two, because I was just getting super busy. So I couldn't keep up with that schedule anymore of just making this long period of time, which I'm sure most of you do not have 10 hours at a time, eight hours at a time to just dedicate solely there. 